Okay, boys and girls, as I'm enjoying a lovely fall day, I thought I would discuss with you guys or talk to you guys about survival shelter priorities. And this is essentially when you're thinking about building a shelter, what kind of functionality it really should serve to serve you well and adequately for your survival situation. So without any further ado, guys, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so you can see more awesome content just like this. Okay, let's jump right into it. So the first and most important part to a survival shelter is that it should offer you adequate cover. The primary reason you want a shelter or you're looking to build a shelter in a survival situation is to help beat back or fight the elements as they come. So the primary elements you're trying to fight with building a shelter are going to be wind and precipitation. Now, as the seasons change, that precipitation might become snow or it might become rain. So either way, you're going to want to build a shelter that has adequate coverage over your head and is pretty water resistant, as well as you want something that has adequate side protection that is pretty wind resistant. Now, as to the water or uh, precipitation resistance, the easiest way to do this, or the best or most efficient way to build a shelter that is going to successfully repel water, is to try to find a tree that is already a good canopy. Now you'll notice with this shelter, it's built right on top of, or pretty much right next to a very large, very well-established tree that in and of itself provides a very good canopy. Now I'm not saying that having that totally negates building an upper portion to your shelter. You obviously need to do that. But if you have a good canopy, your upper canopy for your shelter doesn't have to be as thick as robust or as burly. So making sure that you have a good canopy building around that canopy can actually save you a lot of time and energy. Now the next thing you want to factor, like I said, is having good wind resistance. Now this is probably one of the harder ones because admittedly anything you build outside will never be completely perfect. There are always going to be little holes, little gaps, and wind will find those gaps. The primary purpose is to knock down what I would say about 80% of the wind. Now if you look behind me, you'll see small gaps, small, you know, kind of breaks in the shelter. And it's not the best, but it's about as good as you can get. You can't make it exactly perfect without something like clay or caulking or just some kind of thing that holds everything together. And that is quite challenging to do with reasonable energy expenditures. So you don't want to go overboard or super crazy. Just make sure that it's a reasonably wind resistant and you can add on top of this to personal shelters, things like what you should be wearing to give you the greatest amount of wind protection. Now, the second purpose that a shelter needs to serve for you is fire. Your shelter should have a good fire pit or be built with starting a fire in mind because once again especially if you're building a shelter it's never going to be perfectly thermal and an adequate barrier to every single thing you'll encounter once again this shelter stops most wind it stops most rain and snow it's not going to stop heat leaving perfectly it just can't realistically so Aside from trying to stop your shelter from having heat leave it, you just want to add more heat to it. So while you can't quite see it, it's just below the camera, I do have an established fire pit here, and that is something that you want to make sure is an integral part of your shelter. Make sure you have a well-established fire pit that works efficiently, and make sure that, as you guys can see here, you're stocked up on firewood. And now, this you could certainly add more firewood, but you know, I just have a little bit of firewood out here at all times and so you want to make sure you have a stock of firewood or if you are using your shelter for survival that you're stocking firewood to put on your fire so you want your shelter to be oriented towards fire very importantly especially as you get into the colder months once again in the summer when it's you know maybe nights that are 70 above you probably don't need a fire going maybe you might need something for insect repellents but by and large you don't need a crazy fire for heat however once it starts to get colder you do need that fire for heat and to generate warmth so it's very important 
The last part is insulation. Now this shelter does not particularly have insulation because I use it a lot more for sitting and talking like we do here. I almost use this shelter more for a cache as opposed to an actual shelter. But the only difference between this and a proper shelter is that if I were to uh, if I were to turn this into a full-on survival shelter, I would want to make sure that this area is lined with pine boughs, and the pine boughs give you insulation from the ground. Now, this is not the largest or most important feature. I think some people may contest that, but what I'm saying is that, you know, you can take things like sleeping bags or like drop cloths and throw them down to provide you a good enough thermal barrier and so you don't necessarily need an insulation barrier what you do need is heat and protection from the elements so those are the two most important the third most important is having insulation and so that would be your next goal you know day one would probably be to build the shelter day two would be to insulate the shelter in my opinion some people may have that backwards or they may put insulation over shelter i personally put shelter over insulation however anyways insulation is the third most important piece to a survival shelter and it should be a key function that is a part of it okay so now that we've discussed the three most important functions of the shelter now we're going to get to shelter design now there's no particular design out there that i necessarily subscribe to i am I do personally love wikiups. This is definitely not a wikiup. This is more of like a modified lean-to or maybe a bit of an A-frame, if you will. Um, but primarily, uh, you just want to find a shelter that works for your environment that you can readily make. I personally do prefer having things like walls. They tend to work pretty well for keeping out wind because unlike this kind of stack here that will shift and move around, that has to be readjusted uh, semi-actively. Once you build a proper wall, it's pretty much set up and ready to go. And it's not going to shift around too much on you and it's gonna be pretty good. Think of these walls similar to fire reflectors almost or how you would build a fire reflector is how I build a lot of these smaller walls for shelters. Now, like I said, I do like A-frames and wikiups. Those are tend to be what I go to. Uh, I prefer A-frames if I'm going to be building around the canopy of a tree because an A-frame can more easily and more readily be converted into or built onto a shelter or onto a tree's canopy, whereas a wikiup is a pretty standalone unit. You know, a wikiup is going to be primarily built in and of itself. So if you don't have any area that you can, you know, if you don't have any canopy where you can kind of shelter under the canopy, then I would recommend going for something like a wikiup. Or if you do have canopies to build under, if you are in a solid forest, then I would recommend something like an A-frame or a lean-to because they're a little bit more efficient, a little bit more time, uh, a little bit less time consuming, and a little bit less calorie consuming. So those are my two primary ways, but ultimately when it comes to building a shelter, build a shelter that works for you and build the shelter that you can. Uh, you don't have to be super picky about it. You don't have to be super precise. Uh, the objectives are that you have a shelter that provides protection from the elements, that provides you with heat, and provides you with insulation. So that's really all you need for survival shelters and the priorities of a survival shelter. As always guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. God bless and I'm out.